Okay, so this next video in the probability uh, playlist is thankfully not going to have the title Expectation Values. Instead, it's going to have the title The Negative Binomial Distribution. Binomial Distribution. And it's a bit of a misnomer because it's far more connected to the geometric distribution than the binomial distribution. Negative binomial distribution. The reason it's called the negative binomial distribution is again its connection to the binomial theorem. Uh, it's specifically the binomial theorem for negative powers, uh, which is why it's called that. Uh, but it's far more connected in, as far as probability is concerned, to the geometric distribution. Uh, so uh, let's uh, begin by stating the problem, uh, the relevant problem uh, from which the negative binomial distribution arises. So the problem is this. Uh, let's uh, flip a coin, flip a coin, flip a coin countably infinitely many times, as with the geometric distribution, so you could get heads, tail, tail, head, tail, tail, head, uh, tail, 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 and it could go on and on and on and on and on. And you put every single outcome of this probability distribution into this, uh, into this uh, probability space here, uh, so this is um, Oh dear, uh, curly F, uh, and then we have um, then we have our probability measure, and uh, what we want to ask is um, the uh, negative binomial distribution has two parameters in this case. Firstly, you need to tell me what's the probability of getting ahead. So that little p equal probability of getting ahead in a single trial, probability of getting ahead in a single trial, of getting ahead, and. Uh, let uh, and the other parameter is you need to tell me uh, some r r uh, which is going to be uh, the number of heads you want to get. So basically, the question is this: the question is how many? If I keep doing it like this, um, what is uh, what is the probability that in order to get r heads, uh, I'm going to get uh, let's say i tails in the process. So for instance, let r be equal to 3, uh, then I would want 3 heads. So I continue on until I get 3 heads. In this case, I got 4 tails in the process. Uh, so uh, this would be i is equal to 4. So I want to know uh, if you keep flipping your coin until you get, uh, well, uh, you keep flipping it on, count to be infinitely so many times, but I want to know uh, what is the how, look at the first R heads. You have a first R heads. How many tails do you get uh, prior to getting the fifth head? Uh, so you have to get five heads. How many tails do you get prior to getting five heads is the question. What's the probability of getting um, I, um, I tails, basically? So let's define the random variable X, which is going to map any outcome. So X is going to map any outcome of this uh, probability space up here. It's going to map it onto uh, the number of tails preceding uh, the half head half head. Okay? And that's a random variable. Uh, and we can ask, what is the probability that x is equal to i? And that, that, uh, that PMS, that probability mass function. Uh, so firstly, where is it going to map it onto? It's going to map it onto uh, the lowest number you could have is 0. Then you could go up 1, 2, and you go on. So it's going to uh, map it onto this set. Uh, of all non-negative integers. Uh, okay, so uh, we want to know what is the probability mass function uh, for this um, for this probability distribution, and the way that we can handle that is uh, that we can. Um, I'll have to keep this picture, but we need a new piece of paper, so uh, keep the picture there. Okay, so the way we can handle that is, again, we can think of this as being the sum of a uh, of a bunch of uh, probability distributions. Um, oh, sorry, of a, a, a sum of random variables. Uh, so um, we could think about uh, we could think about uh, map another random variable. Let's say um, let's have a random variable x one, which is going to map you. It, x one is going to map each outcome onto uh, the number of heads, number of tails rather, number of tails between uh, between uh, be uh, sorry preceding the first head let's say preceding uh, first head 
Okay, uh, so uh, basically in this case the number of tails preceding the first head was zero, so x1 would map this outcome here onto zero. But if we had tail, tail, head, and then god knows what after that, uh, this would um, be mapped onto two. Uh, so again, we could define this as a random variable. Okay, and then what we could do is we could map define another random variable. We could define x2 where x2, again, these are all going to be mapped onto uh, probability spaces with outcomes in the real numbers. Uh, so x2 is going to map any outcome onto the number of tails uh, between uh, the first head and the second head and second head. So, for instance, if you uh, look at this one here, uh, this is the first head here, and this is the second head here. So the number of tails for this outcome is 2 uh, between the first and second head. So this outcome would be mapped onto 2 by the var random variable x2. Uh, and you continue on. Uh, you define all the way down to xr, uh, where xr is going to map uh, any outcome onto the number of tails uh, between, uh, between the r minus 1th. Um, head and the half head. Okay, uh, so uh, what? How are all of these random variables distributed? Well, you will notice that all of these random variables are going to be distributed geometrically. All the x i's are going to be distributed geometrically. Uh, with respect to the parameter p, because all you're asking effectively is uh, how many. Uh, what's uh, each of these, xi, each xi is going to map our probability space. So if we have our arbitrary probability space over here, which I'll just give the symbol omega, it's going to map it onto uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. It could go all the way on up to, God, uh, up to you know, infinity. Uh, and it's going to be distributed geometrically because it's exactly the same problem as the geometric... Uh, Ge as the geometric problem, as the problem for the geometric distribution, because uh, it doesn't matter what was before the um, i minus oneth head. Uh, you're just asking now, what's the probability uh, of there being i tails preceding this head? And you can view this head as your first head, uh, given that um, setup. Okay, so they're all going to be distributed geometrically with respect, um, geometrically with parameter p, uh, and. Uh, note that this overall distribution x, which is going to be the neg negatively binomially distributed, is going to be equal to the sum of x1 up, of plus x2 plus all the way down to xr. The reason being that the parameter x, uh, sorry, the random variable x is going to map s onto the number of tails preceding the half head. Well, the number of tails preceding the half head is the number of tails uh, preceding the first head plus the number of tails preceding the between the first and second head uh, all the way on plus the number of tails between uh, the r minus, minus one head and the half head. Um, so uh, that overall is going to give you what x is equal to. Okay, so that's enough for this video. We'll continue on in the next video.